How did the beef start with you and Mike Perry? Was it was it true that you wanted to corner his fight and then fight him after that the fight? Was, that, yeah, that, I think he's <laughs> going to fight me when he ultimately sees me. I'm going to have to like have some security because he's a mm. hard little bastard. But no, he, it's a funny story, with Mike. Me and Mike had an argument in 2017 after me fight with Calvary. So he got up on the cage and I was just like, we can fight. And then I seen him after that on the bus with his girlfriend and I'm like, all my fans, I had like 5,000 fans, I'm like, all my fans are with me, I'm not going to go and start some shit while he's with his girlfriend, so I, was, I just looked at him and I just gave him a nod, and then I seen him at the airport, and, and some of my friends who were like, right up for a fight, they were like, I'll go over now and just sh- take his jaw off, and I was like, you can't do that, mate, he's with his fucking girlfriend, so you know, I just like, sort of looked at him and nodded, and then in 2018, we was at the same hotel, in the UFC, and he just, it's actually on video, he just come over to me, he's like, no, he said to me on the bus, he was like, do you want to spar later? And I was like, yeah, right, so I'm thinking he wanted to go to the gym with me, like to do a steam and so on. That's that's gen- and I thought, fucking mad on him, does he want to see me dick or something? <laughs> <laughs> so then everyone was filming, he comes up to me outside the hotel reception, he's like, Are you up for this later, this spa? And I said, Yes, yeah, sir, whatever time. He's like, and he turned around and went, I-, I haven't got no gloves. And I went, What? I was like, What do you mean? I was like, you want a spa? I, I was like, I thought you wanted to like go to a spa. Mm-hmm. And he's like looking, he's fucking mental. He's like looking at me all confused. And I went, yeah, if you want a spa, we can spa. So then later on that night, he's like messaged me. He's like, are you ready? I was like, yeah, Sam, let's go. Went down to the uh, the gym in the hotel. And we just, we done like five rounds of sparring. Who won? I'll never, ever say. Never? I'll never, ever say. I don't, I don't think, he's actually said loads of times. I beat that in that spa. I busted his face up. If that makes him feel good and sleeps at night, and that's great for mm-hmm. him. But this is this is the thing. I could go to Tyson Fury's gym now and, and beat him up in a spa. I, he's actually come to my gym and we sparred and I took him down. I remember my fighter. Imagine me going around saying, beat Tyson in a boxing spa today. That sparring means absolutely Nothing. fuck all. Jack shit. You didn't get paid for it. No one's seen it. Sparring's different. You don't have the nerves, the crowd, everything involved. Yeah. So for me to sit here and go, I won Mike Perry in the spa. That's bullshit. Because even if I did or I didn't, it doesn't mean a thing. Because then we could fight and he could just go, boom, knock me clean out. Mm-hmm. What what we what really matters? The spa that I beat him in or the, the knockout he's just placed on me in front of everyone. Yeah. So it doesn't he's come out to said loads and I battered that in that spa. Mm-hmm. Is he using your name to get recognition? Do you know what? I've, he's had a lot of uh, recognition since we've been arguing. I mean, he's, he has, I know he's completely fell out with me. Uh, I know he's hundred percent like just um, probably hates mm-hmm. me. But is was it just, proper hatred? Does it just banter to get? No, I th- I th- I, th- I think it, I think it is proper hatred because we were having banter. We were messaging each other, and I was like, I was messaging. I was saying, come on, this was the first lockdown. I was like, come on, let's have a bit of banter. Come on, let's fucking skit each other. And he was like, yeah, yeah. Now, American humour and British <laughs> humour are two day, different man, things. Yeah. Like, yeah. a lot of the Americans who follow me are rad on my humour, so they don't get offended or they're on it, but especially my humour. Like, I say to everyone, dark. don't... What? Dark, dark, very dark. I can go as dark as you want. Like, don't don't let all that offend you, stuff and that. So, we were having back and forth calling each other fat cunts and blah, blah. And then one day, I just was like... Listen, you little fat cunt on his ass. Like, I will fucking smash your jaw clean off and then I'll raw dog your beard. And I didn't mean anything by it. And the post just went astronomical. I think it got like 150,000 likes. And I think it got like 10,000 comments. And my DMs were just... And I went, wow. Because I, I always say raw... I always say it with my friends. I'm like, raw dog. This was before I even ever created the brand. And uh, the post the next day got deleted. And Instagram deleted my account. They fucking... They do that on the regular now. I don't, I'm probably going to get deleted soon. <laughs> And from that, I just didn't see or hear of him. He blocked me off everything. And I was like, nah, he's not serious here, is he? And he was. And from that, he was like, because I think he just met his, his current girlfriend who's pregnant now, and he was like, nah, fuck this guy till now. And I was like, is he being serious? And then as time got on, he blocked me, but started putting stuff up. So I couldn't respond. And then I was like, yeah, he genuinely has got hated for me now. He, and, he, and then he done like interviews, like if I ever see till, it's fucking, it's off. I'm gonna fucking, I, I wouldn't spit on him if he was on final. I was like, whoa, mate, you need to calm down. You, you're in your feelings too much. Fucking hell, all right. Mm. But it offended him. What can I do? That's what it is, isn't it? That's his problem. That's mm-hmm. not my problem. If yeah. you get offended by something I say, that that's Tough. your problem. <laughs> Tough. Tough luck. That's your problem. Yeah. I, I couldn't really give a fuck. 